Shock and disbelief among the Egyptian people over Mubarak's refusal to step down includes San Diego's Egyptian community. KUSI's Ed Lenderman is here tonight with that part of our coverage. Ed? Sandra, we were at the San Diego Islamic Center at midday for the speech and the stunned reaction during and afterward. And I also announced that I will similarly remain adamant to continue to shoulder my responsibility. Oh, no. the Constitution, safeguarding the interests of the people. We watched Mubarak's speech with the Imam of the Islamic Center, Taha Hassan, and the local director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, Hanif Moibi. Amid their catcalls, there were figurative slaps to the forehead. And as the stunned crowd in Cairo began to chant, leave, leave, leave. Dictators be are comprised of blind and deaf. And, and they don't see the reality. And they don't hear Jewish the voice of the people. Legal professional and professional. It's unbelievable. Look at it. It is really insulting my intelligence. Later, after midday prayer, Egyptians who worship here express the same disappointment. There is a great uh, disconnection between uh, the president and the people. He still does not understand that the people don't want him, and he's still having this arrogance. Sarah, can you tell Ed no Mubarak? Marwa Abdallah had her two young children in tow when she told me how disappointed she was. I think the people are going to speak up even louder, and they have every right to, and they should. Violence? I hope not. I hope no violence. The people, Egyptians in general, are very warm and hospitable and moderate people. All of this fear that we have of a vacuum or a power vacuum, that's a myth. Mohammed Abu Rama agrees that while the disappointment runs deep, I think this is uh, will push people even to stand up further and to continue these demonstrations and this revolution until they get him out of the office. It's interesting that everything we're hearing from the crowds in Egypt tonight, that Mubarak treated us as if we were children, is exactly what we heard at the Islamic Center. It's the, nation, it's the nature of demagoguery, said everyone with whom we spoke. Ed Lenderman, KUSI News.